Hey guys, welcome to Zero Pest Depot where we review products, pest products uh, that we sell on our site, all these products here, and at our physical location as well. We're based out of Mount Vernon, New York. And in today's episode, we're gonna talk about the Abion Cockroach Bait Arena by Syngenta, also known as the Roach Motel. So these, this little bag here, it's their new bag, and these used to come 30 to a bag. Now this bag here comes 12 to a bag, which is great for do-it-yourselfers because you really don't need 30 unless you have a serious infestation. And then we have those as well. But if you have a small problem, you don't want to put gel all over the place in your home, you might want to try this. Now this here, this is the gel bait station right here. So in these, there's a little bit of bait gel that's stuck there in the center and the roach would go in through the sides and feed. Now, if you have a problem and you use these and you see a roach go in there, come out, you don't find dead ones. This is when it's time to consult an external member. Uh, the ro roach might just be immune to it uh, and you might have to cycle out and use a different chemical. So with this product here, has great shelf life. If you put it, if you keep it somewhere dry where it's not gonna get wet, this will last a very long time. Now, after the bait has been consumed, you don't wanna keep these out there and actually make it a, mulch, a roach motel where they actually live in it and they will, they will um, travel in and out of the station not being affected by any chemicals. Sorry, someone was walking by and a very popular space over here. So Avion Cockroach Bait Arena has the same active ingredients as the gel, slightly different, uh, same percentage, but this product here is great. We highly recommend it. Right now, uh, the trend seems to be the Avion Roach Gel, the gel tubes, people tend to buy that online and they tend to avoid the Avion uh, Roach stations now. This is a great, great way to uh, get rid of roaches in your bedrooms, in your kids' rooms, and not have to apply gel all over the place. Don't put it in the furniture. Uh, you can put these little stations here by the heater. You can slip it right under the heater. You can slide these, well, not too close to the, it's best to put this as close to a wall as possible because they like to walk around the cracks and crevices. So this is great to put this by the, under their bed, by the leg of the bed. Now also, almost forgot, this also comes with a sheet inside that has 16, uh, 12 to 16 glue sticks, glue uh, sheets. So what you do is glue squares. So you take off a glue square, stick it to the back of this, peel it, it's, it's similar to double-sided tape, and then you stick this anywhere. So you don't have to just drop these on the floor by the heater or slide this under your kid's bed. Uh, for better protection to keep this off your kids, if you have a heavy infestation and you feel like it's in the kid's room, if it's not in the kid's room, I would, I would not use this. I mean, not because of safety reasons, but because it has an allure to it. You don't want to attract them to that room. You want to concentrate on treating the room that has activity in the surrounding areas. Uh, the immediate surrounding areas. But if the bedroom doesn't have any activity, it's just the kitchen and the living room, then I would uh, attack that first and then a week later reassess. But if you do want to put these, and you can say you buy these 12, you buy the 30 pack, you can stick these by the heater, stick these under the table, stick these under the sinks in the kitchen and bathroom, stick these above and inside the cabinets, and that's typically uh, the areas that our guys tend to do this. After this, we do we do our service in combination with base stations, as well as gel, as well as dust, as well as spray. Now, this is all depending on the infestation level. For all your do-it-yourselfers, I would start out with a 12-pack, maybe a gel too, but if it's a very, very light infestation, you might wanna try these. You, if it's just in the kitchen, this is great. You can put these all around. Just make sure you cover all four walls, uh, meaning you attack all four walls uh, of your the room that you're treating. So 
this is a great powder right here. Adrian Cockroach Bait Arena. It has very uh, well shelf life. It says to store in a cool, dry place. And they recommend using three to 10 baits for every 100 linear feet. So you're safe to use three to 10 of these in the kitchen and then use the other two in the bathroom. Uh, something to consider, okay? The bathroom has a lot of, is a high humid area and there's also cracks from the water lines and behind the toilet and sometimes they tend to go in there. But it depends on your home. Every home is different, uh, every approach is different, but if you're gonna do it yourself, this is a great product to get. Have your cockroach gel bait. Thank you for watching. Oh, check our website, zeropestdepot.com. Please like and subscribe. Gonna make a video on every single product that we have here and the supplies as far as um, that we use in treating homes. So we're gonna uh, review uh, sprayers, vacuums, uh, fly lights for restaurants, everything. All right, check out zeropestdepot.com. We also have a $50 pest package. Uh, it's a DIY pest kit, which is a small box that has different items. It'll have the puck, let's say you're treating roaches, it'll have the puck, which is the bait station. It'll have a few of these. It will have a tube of gel, have some gloves. It'll have an aerosol. And each product that's gonna be included in that pack, will, you can also look up a review on it as well. And it comes with a sheet with a description of how to use each product. Even though you can read the back of the label, but uh, we like to uh, you know give you some more information. Thank you.